Did Apple's clear case with MagSafe just become the best iPhone case that Apple has to offer? Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Every year I test out all the cases that Apple makes and of course the clear case is included in that. I even used it daily on my 14 Pro and while I really do like the case, it's never been my top choice when it comes to recommendations of what people should buy. I think the silicone case and the leather case have always been a better option. But recently, my mind has changed a little bit, and in this video, I want to talk about why the iPhone 15 Pro Max clear case is actually a really good option. So what comes in the box? And like any case unboxing, it's just the case. The design has been the same ever since it was introduced with MagSafe. The case fits right over the buttons for easy use, and you have a power button that's a bit of a gel-like feeling, but it's firm. Same with the volume up and volume down button. And now, instead of a mute switch, you have the action button on the 15 Pro series. The material is a blend of optically clear polycarbonate and flexible materials. It's a mouthful. But it's not so flexible that it's easy to bend. It's like a harder plastic and not like a jelly type of plastic that I could fold the case in half. The camera bump is raised for added protection. And you have the kind of MagSafe spot that's on this case. The overall feeling of the case is it's nice. It's thin so it doesn't add any extra bulk. And the grip I would say takes a little bit of time to get used to. It is a little bit slippery but over time you get used to it. And the case actually does feel quite protective overall. Like I said it's more of a hard shell plastic and it's pretty strong. But it does expose the bottom where the speakers are and the USB-C plug-in is. But I'll get into why I actually kind of like that this year. And this case does feel very premium. And one of the really big reasons why I'm into this case this year is because how good the colors are on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max this year. You have all the new titanium colors that look amazing. I have natural titanium and it's honestly a shame that I have to wear a case for this because it does look so beautiful. With the silicone case and fine woven cases, I can only see where the camera is and it's just not the same. And all of the 15 Pro colors look incredible and this is the best option to show off that new color. The cases also do come in the size of the regular 15 model as well as the 15 Plus. The case is also MagSafe compatible so it's great and works with a ton of accessories. Another reason why I'm really into this case this year, I used to call it a design flaw but I actually really like the fact that the bottom is cut out because it makes it feel like I'm actually holding the phone caseless. And because the titanium frame and contour edges feel so good in hand, when you swipe up, you actually feel the phone, unlike using the other Apple cases and really almost any case. So yeah, if you do drop it, you're definitely gonna cause some damage, but at the end of the day, it feels really good in hand. And I really like that part about this case. With having it on the 14 Pro for long periods at a time, I really feel comfortable in saying that this case will last pretty long. I'm not quite sure what it's like when it gets to like two and a half, three years. I think this case has a pretty good lifespan to it. So if you're worried about longevity and yellowing, you should be good. It'll last you quite some time. Just in general, Apple cases are kind of in a weird place right now. I don't think a lot of people are really convinced with fine woven. The material is odd and we're just not sure how it's going to hold up long term. And strange enough, some of my silicone cases that I don't even use daily, some of them have ripped over the last few months and I'm not quite sure why and what's going on with that. Some seem to be fine and don't wear over time and while others do. And that's just the risk of having one of the silicone cases. So there's kind of longevity questions with the other two. I plan to do a full comparison video of each case together. So make sure to sub to the channel for that. One of the kind of annoying things about this case is how much fingerprints will get on it. I mean, it's in your hand all the time and just turning it, it's ridiculous how much fingerprints are all over this clear case. It's kind of unavoidable. You just have to wipe your phone down, but there's that. I don't know how to explain it the best way, but sometimes there's particles that get in it and can rub against the titanium. I know I was always nervous about it with the stainless steel iPhones, but titanium might be a little bit more scratch resistant. We might not have to worry about that as much. I still think overall Apple cases are too expensive and this case is no different. It's $49, but I would wait to maybe get it on a discounted price 
Amazon's always having deals on the Apple Amazon store, as well as Black Friday is almost right around the corner. Somehow though, if you're looking for a case made by Apple, this is the case that you should get. If you have a 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max and you just want that added protection when you're outside, I would definitely get this case. Let us know in the comments if you've had this case in the past and what your experience has been like. We'd all appreciate it. Also, don't forget to sub and like this video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. God bless. And I will see you on the next video. Oh, and go and check out some of my other videos.